this is the fun part. This is the interactive part. So we will have, uh, I say five in, in our instructions, but we, we probably will go 10 if conversation is really um, moving along. So I need each table to identify a recorder. This would be someone who is not one of the moderators who will take notes um, of what's discussed for each table. And then uh, when we come back together, so at the end of 10 minutes after our discussions, uh, each recorder will tell the whole room like a summary, one to two minute of what you talked about at your table so that we all know what each other's talking about. It helps with transparency. Um, and then uh, you are welcome to draw anything you want on the maps, write anything that you want, any of your ideas, everything is welcome. Your feedback is extremely important to us. Uh, but, you know, this is where we figure out what the community wants, what the owners want, what, you know, everybody's looking at um, in terms of ideas and, and discussion topics. So for active recreation, I tried to think about like, well, you know, for some of them it may not be clear. So to define active recreation, it's an activity that you're engaged in for the purpose of relaxation or enjoyment with the primary focus being physical activity. So if you think literally, this is, you know, jogging trails, bike ways, it might be uh, fields, playgrounds, game courts, and generally it includes all outdoor recreation activities. So anything from football and soccer to tennis or baseball. And it can also include swimming, boating, diving, you get the idea. It's like everything, you're moving, you're active, you know, it's, it's organized activities, that sort of thing. But we have to maintain uh, our restrictions within the clear zone. So just to remind you, clear zone, obstruction free, uh, it's in that entire green area. And then the accident potential zone is in the orange area. And, uh, and that is also on your map. So you, you can see it, uh, the green and the orange. We just, we try to make it light so that we could see your, your markings. So some things to consider. Uh, access, you know, if we want to put some playgrounds there or something like that, you know, how do we access it but still maintain the security of the base? We want to make sure that as we are, you know, maybe we're using portions of the borrow pit that are not in, say, the clear zone. How do we delineate that now you're crossing over into the clear zone? How do we maintain that compliance? And, uh, you know, again, maintaining the safety and security of the Air Force base. So some things that you have at your table to help you, you have the noise contours. This is a very handy chart, which I do not try to put on a PowerPoint because you would never see it. But if you look on here, it gives a ton of uses and whether it's yes, no, and then stipulations. You know, it's sort of like yes, but look at number seven, it'll tell you something about it. Uh, you also have a little bit more information on um, the clear zones. The bird population that we want to try to stay away from attracting. And then your moderators have some questions that will help uh, solicit that feedback. So unless there's questions, I will start the timer. And uh, I would say let's go for 10 minutes. If it starts to like, you know, you're done, you don't, you don't want to speak anymore, just kind of look up and, and I'll know that you're, that you're finished.